Assalamu alaikum guys, give that to the farmers. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how I pull, I think about two bends on this copper pipe, the easiest way and the way I do it. Okay, so let's show you the job before we start. So what we're doing is, we're going to put the pipe in here, we're going to pull a 90 so it goes across here, and we're going to pull another 90 so it basically goes there. I'm just going to show you how I do this job quickly. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is get the center line of this um of this joint so how far the copper will go in so i've already measured from here and i've got my center line right here yeah so that's basically how far the copper will actually go into here yeah so that's going to be that's going to time me mark the first bend basically so there's the line there i've got there so the first bend is going to go from here up and it's going to bend across here so this is my second mark here so the first bend is going to be from this line to this line once I've bent that, then I need to know the distance between this pipe and my second bend, which is here. Yeah, so I've got this pipe, I've pulled it up. You can see I've marked it right there, that's one line. And then my second part line basically needs to go in line with this pipe here. So you can see I've put my mark here. Now let me show you what it means. Okay, so for the first bend, which is basically the pipe going into the end here, Let's measure it. So I've marked it just to make it easier for me. So the first bend is going to be 12 centimeters. So I'm just going to write it down on this board 12 centimeters. So my first bend from here to here is 12 centimeters. My second bend is basically going to be once I pull that bend, um, it's going to be from this line which I've already drawn here to this line here let's just say that is 24 centimeters so 24 centimeters so basically this pipe is going to go from here bend and then bend again so i'm going to mark now on this pipe 12 centimeters so let's mark on the pipe 12 centimeters yeah so you see i've got 12 centimeters there this is going to be my first bend. So mark the whole way around. Okay, so you get the pipe, put it into the bender. Now guys, this is a real life scenario. As you can see, look, I'm sitting on someone's floor. There isn't that much space. It's a real life scenario. So you put that, you put your pipe into there. Now I've measured to the center of where my bend needs to be. Yeah, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get like an off cut of copper. I'm putting this in here. And I'm and I'm moving this line here to the center of this pipe here. Yeah, so with it tight. So now you can see once I've pulled the bend, when I pull the bend, it should go around and it should end up with basically this pipe is here, yeah. So it's in the center of the pipe. I'm happy with that. If you want, guys, remember, measure twice, bend once. So that's about 12 centimeters, that's what I need. So I lift it up. Use that um, strength, guys, to bend the whole way around. Now, if you're unsure, then you, know, you can put it against doors and stuff like that to see if you've got a 90. Bend it a little bit more. Or you can get yourself a little uh, square. But that's bent now. So I can pull that out. And there, I can put it up against the door thing like this, just to see. If it's square, so that's square. So that's my first bend done. Okay, so as you can see, guys, I've pulled my first bend. Now, my second bend was 24 centimeters. So if you remember, it's basically the center of this pipe to the center of here. So that's my second bend is 24 centimeters. Now, I can simply put this on the floor here, for example, get the center of this pipe here, put this on the center of this pipe, go up to 24 centimeters, and then mark it basically around here, 24 centimeters. Now, as this is quite a short length, I can also just put it straight into my fitting. So I could put it into the fitting like that, because it is quite a short length. I could just marry up with the line it's already there, you can see the line there. And that's basically where I want now the pipe to be basically going backwards, yeah? 
Now you've got what you've got to remember is when you're bending is the orientation of this pipe. So one pipe is facing this way, the other bend is literally going to go the opposite way. Yeah. So just remember that, guys. Okay, guys. So get the pipe back into the bender. You can see my mark, which is all the way down here. So I need to get the, the mark in the basically center of that line again. So I'll just take it all the way across. I put my little uh, former or guide, whatever you call it, in there. And uh, I'll get this pipe again back in here. And I'll make sure that, again, it's center with that line, yeah? That's it. See, it's center there, near enough. Now, two things you need to remember. The part you've already bent needs to go on this side of the former. So you need to go on the, the end of the pipe. So whatever you've bent need to go, needs to go on this side here. Don't put it on this side because this side of the copper will stretch. This side will remain the same. And the other thing you need to bear in mind now is, now, if I, if I bent, for example, the pipe this way, the pipe would go, it would go up, and it would go in that direction. So the easiest way to do it is, I put the pipe like that, I want the pipe to be going back on itself. But if I bend it now, it's going to go upwards. So this is not the way I need this pipe. So the easiest way to do it is just to turn the pipe around and see if it works. So it's right down there now. And right now, if I, if I take this bend, and now it's going to go in the opposite direction. So if I put it to kind of where I want it, so I want it like that, my pipe's coming up here, and then it's going to go backwards. Okay, so that's fine. So that's roughly the the way I want it, yeah? But now I've got to make sure that this pipe is straight. So what I do, I flip the pipe over. And I level the pipe up. So if you look at the pipe now, it's not straight. It's bent. It's gone at an angle, yeah? I need to get this pipe dead straight. So I can use things like this flat edge. I can use this. I can use it to my advantage, so I just want this thing to be as dead straight as it is, yeah? So I'm, you know, I'm near enough happy with that there. So once you're happy and you've done all your moving around and you think you're happy, what you have to do again is to make sure that this has not moved, because it most likely has. So you get your copper piece back in here, and you can see it's slightly moved, yeah? So. I need to, uh, so I need to get that flat. Let's put it flat down here. It's easier to do, guys, when you're not recording a video. So I need to move this. As you can see, back to here. Once I put it back there, now I've moved it. So I've got to make sure it's straight. So. Again, I'm happy with that now. I've moved it. Just double check everything. Just, you know, take your time when you're bending copper pipe. Put it flat there, so I'm happy with that. Now, just to make sure the orientation, when I bend, it's going to go backwards. That's exactly how I want it. I want it to go across and then backwards. Use your strength. Go the whole way. Now, one thing I forgot to tell you guys is after you've pulled your bend what you can do is put a mark there so it's if for example i've pulled this 90 and i think to myself you know it's a 90 i put it out of the bender and i realize that look it's not an actual 90 can you see it's not a 90 it needs to be pulled more yeah in order for it to be a proper 90 i now know exactly where to put the pipe back in So I would get this, and because I've made a mark, let's pull it up here. There. Put it back in exactly where it come out from. See, because I've made the mark now, I can put it exactly where it come out from. I can bend it. A little bit more. Then I can see. 
and that's it that's about where i want it i would say if it's slightly you know out of place you can always bend it with your hand or whatever you know you don't have to be perfect you can do your little wobble test now this this will determine if the pipe is actually straight yeah so you can see that the pipe is actually dead straight so when i was doing all that bending stuff moving it and stuff like that it shows that it was right and it was straight so now i've already bent from here and it's gone all the way here it now should end up basically at this pipe but i still need to trim it down so imagine it was a three meter length and uh, i need to trim it down so i need to know because at the minute i can just put my pipe in place and i can just mark it there it's easy for me but to show you guys if you've got three meters and stuff like that what i would do now i just need to measure from this center line here this center line this bend to the start of that pipe now yeah, opposed to the middle yeah so i'll get the tape measure from the start of this pipe to the center of this bend i would say 35.5 So I've got my bender, I've got my uh, piece of pipe there from the thingy here, from the centre of this to the start of that pipe was 35.5. Always go a little bit higher, you know, just to make sure that it's right. And because it's actually shorter, I should be able to just double check now myself. So let's just put it in there. I can put it on to where I want it, basically here. This is where it's gonna go. You can see I can put it into the actual compression joint. And you can see right there, the mark where I've made it, it joins up with this pipe. So that should be bang on. Yeah, let's take this back out and cut it. So the moment of truth, guys, let's see if it's worked. Put the compression joints on under here. Let's see if that fits in here. That fits in there, and then that fits in there. That's done. And voila, that's the job done. You can see I've pulled one bend, I've pulled a second bend, and if I wanted to, I could have carried on, put another bend there, I could have pulled another bend there. It's all about measuring and marking, guys. If you guys are wondering why I'm leaving compression joints under floorboards, this is just a temporary fix. Um, basically, We've come to a job and the, the pipe has corroded like this. I don't think it's copper. I think it's some type of old steel or something like that. It's corroded. So just to get the heating back on, I've put compression joint there, compression joint there, put the heating back on. Then eventually we're going to come back and we're going to replace this whole length. But just as a temporary fix, we've done this. So job done, guys. Look, you don't need no fancy bend or anything like that. I'm using a Rothenberger one. I actually use a cheaper one. It broke yesterday. I use a Today's Tools one. A cheap one from uh, tool station this is actually my backup this is my apprentice's one and uh, like i said mine broke yesterday so don't worry about getting the most expensive things we're bending practice makes perfect the more you do it the better you're gonna get it took me a while to get to get good like this you know i just sold everything but in my opinion if you want to be a really good plumber or a gas engineer get used to bending start doing it now make your mistakes now while you're an apprentice or you know even if you're fully qualified just start bending pipes You'll make mistakes, you'll lose a bit of money on the copper and stuff like that, but don't worry about it because eventually you'll make money up with the time you save and the leaks and stuff like that you're not going to get. So yeah, job done. Like and subscribe guys. Leave a comment down below if you want any more videos. Job done.